Hello. I have returned. Once again, next this week, we are playing a very, very, very old video game from the far, far distant past. It's called Select Game. No, it's not called Select Game. It's called uh, Satellite Attack for the Philips G7000 Video Pack console, also known as the Magnafox Odyssey. Ooh, actually, box looks like this. Um, I want to sort of switch something over. Um, just, just do, do things on, on the computer over here. I've got to set this up better than I. It's just really, really awkward. Uh, but anyway, let's. Um, yes. Oh, okay. I'll just do a reload on this. Anyway. Um, yes, thanks for joining me again. Uh, this is a very, very special game, uh, close to my heart. Um, why is this not loading? I don't know. I'll have to reload this thing. Um, yes, and uh, this game is called uh, Satellite Attack. And uh, as I said, and it's on a video. And I'm just going to start it, and you'll see what I mean by how weird it is. So, yours are called Space Control. And so I'm playing this on the uh, hardware because I don't emulate stuff really. Uh, and there's, there's, there is naught in this game. So loud, it's so loud. I um, hope you can hear me. Um, yeah, after considering the Switch came out at the time I was playing this, I could be sitting there playing Zelda or something, whatever everyone else is. No, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to play this weird game. Now, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. So, there's all the space you can do with shield red. Shield. When you fire the shield, the um, generator is all. And it slows down as you're doing it. It's just, it's just there, are, there is odd nuance. Also, Great keyboard, and this, this, this console's got a massive keyboard on it. I, 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 I put photos up on uh, my Twitter feed, which you can follow me on Chris uh, and, uh, and it's body points. There's also I've got a handicap here, I'll show you in a minute. As you know, regular viewers of this show will know. So I didn't use original um, hardware, and I use original controllers as well. And the thing about this game, uh, the thing about this game is, um, nice. Did you notice the small pockets spread out? They can actually get under the satellite, so you can play it and change it. Bit like every um, I'm not used to fire that much. As a child, I adored this game. No idea what was going on with it. Um, I just loved the when I got that. I just loved it. Okay, better. Okay, better. I'm gonna show you the joystick in a minute, but I'm just gonna maybe you can see it now. It's in there. I don't think you can play my stream. Six, though. I can't believe that game still works. This, so this game came out in 1981. I'm not sure who made it. I've been looking on the internet trying to find out who's played with it in the creation of this game. Uh, and I can't find anyone, which is sad because I think it's awful. Um,
Anyway, uh, well, I'm going to try this really um, medium. I'm surprised by how, how well this game comes up. It's still a challenge. It's a really peculiar little space. space. Very, very odd. There's nuance to it, the complexity to it. Um, there's the, the fact that he moves slower when the machine's going. Uh, I think it. Sold it on. Yeah, it's a way better machine. Um, but um, still love this. Still, still enamored by it. Uh, what else is weird about it? Some asteroids are quite like funny. Uh, it's kind of weird that you can just ran into things. Remember, um, we had problems with these fire buttons on the ones that I had. Uh, there were silver on the fire buttons, and um, the buttons fell off. They just fell off. Shoddy workmanship. They just fell off. So, yeah, I'm dealing with that. But, you know, I suffer for my art. Last week, my outfit was fun. I haven't put out the artwork yet. Can't check it out. Uh, but I've got an edited version of the uh, uh, marathon. It's in four parts. I've got a game in four separate systems. So I'm very excited this week because next week I will be in Boston for PAX East. I always go to PAX East. That's what I treat you to. I did miss it a couple of years ago. Which did. Uh, but this year, again, the PAX East is my first PAX of the PAX East of the West. Well, um, also, it's odd that uh, this week I've got taxis, then the week after that, nothing, and the rest. It's kind of packed. Oh. Delicious! Delicious! Violence on the part of the fight, just me. I'm not gonna win! Nothing! Which, you know, is a thing. Oh, well, it's hard to get the um, firing thing. It can just all move in circles. It's very peculiar. I blow one up. It was really interesting when I did the uh, search for um, Twitch for the game. This, this, is not <laughs> this game is so, so obscure.
Manual. I'll put it, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll fuck it out. When I die again. So it's a manual. These games came in straight from the classic. And this, this is the manual. I'll let him blow that up. But it's, but it's, it's like really straightforward stuff. Not particularly complicated. Let's give you like tips at the back here. It's really cool. Um, but yeah. Okay. 
the magnet box one and other form of magnet machines. Got him! Did you see me? Yes. I'd like to make the point of the video. One, I was worried about the game being a little bit shallow. So this one's a bit weird, you can take all the cartridges out while it was on. Didn't feel right at all. And the cartridges have a massive handle on them. Well, I might show you at the end of it. No, I won't. No, I won't go. It didn't feel right. Um, it didn't feel right. Pulling out the cartridge while Ask. No, it is not every extended extra. I'm not playing that this, this next week. No, I'm not. Thank you. 
Run this, it's not a bad run. I'm getting the rhythm going. By the way, these have satellite things to work on. 70! New high school. Did you see what I did there? Um, 
Yes. I have got a switch. I will be taking it back. Because uh, I need to like custom. But, you know, why not? Makes sense. And Zelda's awesome. He said. One of the things I'm loving about doing these retro games as well is I can game. loud. Hang on a sec. I'm going to reset. I'm going to change some things. Stay with me. Uh, so I'm just going to change the volume down just a little bit. And then there we go. It's a bit behind the, uh, I didn't know it was so loud. Is it really that loud? Okay. Hopefully it's not so loud now. So anyway, uh, next week, that's Cassado. Uh, thank you, for Cassado, for letting me know the game's a little bit loud. Hopefully the audio's not so bad now. I've just turned it all down. <laughs> it's a loud game, though, isn't it? It's loud. Can you hear me now? Okay. Anyway, so yeah, um, I decided I was, there's a couple of options I had. A couple of options I had for um, for this game for for next week, and I didn't. I think I'm going to bring it a little bit up more up to date, just a little bit. We've played a lot of really old games recently. Let's let's break, let's crank it up a bit. Let's let's delve into the vault. It's just a, a little bit more recent, not too recent. No. Um, so a friend of mine, I've talked on another podcast recently about his one of his like his games that not the best game in the world, but one of these an honourable mention. And um, oh shit, he's gone. Try. The game is Buster Move 2. Buster Move 2. Um, or the arcade edition on PlayStation 1. Uh, I never really got with Buster Move uh, until I sort of heard this podcast about a very good friend, Leon Cox, waxing lyrical about this game. I thought, really? What, what's, what's, I don't know, it's just a Max 3 game, is it? What's the big deal? It's far more to it than that. Just like this game is. There's much, much more than just a mere blowing up because I'm an idiot. Um, I mean, Puzzle Bubble 2, Costado, yes. That's the game I'll be playing next week. Uh, I got it for five quid recently. Original PS1 version uh, on its black disc game. Um, awesome stuff. So, um, yeah. Yeah, really, really looking forward to that one. But it won't be next week. It will be the week after because I will be at PAX East, as I've already explained. Although you probably couldn't hear me. Because this game is so loud. I'm sorry about that. I will, I will breach 100 on this game if it kills me. I have to do it within the hour, though, but I will do it. Oh, 
Yeah, so this game was released in 1981 on the uh, Magnavox Odyssey 2 and the also known as the Philips G7000. Uh, I had one of these as a child for a very brief period of time, about 18 months I think it was, before I went over to the Intellivision. And then eventually I got, and also then I got a, um, a ZX81 and then a Spectrum, etc, etc, etc. Uh, yeah, my 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 word world was filled with um, video games as a kid. Oh, put my name in. So yeah, Puzzle Bobble Two, really cool, and um, really looking forward to that. Oh, sweet stuff! People saying that next time. Um, I love doing it. I love blowing up those satellites with specks of dust from the box I'm blowing up. Oh. Almost there. Almost there. So I've got a lot of games for this system. There's a lot of sorry, correct. With lots of games in this bomb vault for this system, and they all had numbers. Um, there were some third party um releases of this of for for the uh the video pack um system, but not many. And um one of them is Super Cobra, which I might play on this. I'm going to see how it is, because Super Cobra for me is an Intellivision game. That's how I played it for most. It was a Parker Brothers game. Um, but I've got a lot, a lot of Parker Brothers games on the Intellivision, so I'll probably be playing those on here rather than anything else. Um, yeah. Got him. He was right in my sights. Did you see what I did there? I am sure you did. I can't, I can't believe how entertaining this game still is. It's just amazing. They honestly could do, easily could do an update of this. They really could. Okay, the start is telling me uh, on the chat, which you could be a part of if you watched it on Twitch too, telling me that uh, Super Cobra or on the video pack. It, or you know the, this this system is quote unquote interesting. That's euphemism. That's a euphemism for terrible, isn't it? <laughs> I think I should stick with the Intellivision version, shouldn't I? Really? Very noisy game. It's just relentless. Imagine playing this. As I was playing this as a kid. Um, oh, I've got news. I scored. I should get more excited. No, I am. Love the massive keyboard on it. Um, I used to play this as a kid with my with my you know, but we only had one television in the house at least initially, uh, which means this the, I had to play this sparingly on the main living room television, which wasn't ideal. Because, you know, the family wanted to watch TV and there's why sitting there playing this weird sort of spacey game. And they go, Chris, you look, you're not playing this really, we're going to watch TV. And people would watch broadcast television back then, uh, which is really weird. We don't do that anymore. No one watches broadcast TV. Why would you want to do that? Um... So but all they could hear is these bloopy, blocky sounds. And it was. You can imagine, imagine it being really irritating if you're not playing it. Um, I am playing it, and I'm not irritated by it, but <laughs> just, uh, yeah. Oh, God, terrible, terrible business. No justice. Right, so I'm okay, going to focus now. 25 minutes, 25 minutes to get to 100 points.
I'm, I'm playing a new tactic. <laughs> I love, I love outsmarting those things. I really do. Because I'm no good at firing them. Because you can't really aim very well. You have to do a circle motion to get your, like, it's really frustrating as hell. As soon as you move. As soon as you move, it just goes all fair shape. Oh, good little quiet now. Um, so, Costado is asking me how the controllers are for the G7000. And I've already said, I've already complained about them. They're really bad. <laughs> They've got far too much trouble in the joystick. Um, but um, you get used to it, but it's not ideal. It's not ideal. One thing about the G7000, it had a standard set of, how can I put it, sprites. I'm not sure they're really sprites in, in a like, traditional sense, but yeah. Ninety-nine! Ninety-nine, everyone! This is it! Yay! I did it! Told you. Told you. I told you I'll get to 100. Wow. I'm rocking this session. Oh, this one. This one is, this is it. This is the one I will never beat. I might have to take a photo of this afterwards. Just to prove that I got more than 100 points. I'm just, I'm gonna, this is it, I'm in the, I'm in the zone. I'm in the zone of the 36 year old video game. <laughs> ah. It's just absurd, I've got 175 points. I could barely, moments ago. Moments ago, I couldn't even get above 70 odd points. Now I've got 179. 179! <laughs> Wow! Check, so this is the controller. It's very warm now. Very warm. But it, the, the uh, yeah, the travel's really bad. But it's not a digital thing. I'm going to put my name in there, sod it. There you go. Name in lights. <laughs> one point! I'm not going to beat one time <laughs> for doing that. That was out of order. I'm not sure shoot is a good idea. Lasers weren't on. Lasers have a range on them as well. Is interesting.
So Costado saying in chat, I agree, Costado. The uh, the aiming control system is very odd. And uh, I don't think it's been to talk. There's probably a reason for that. But yeah, it's an odd. This is an odd little game, and I'm so sad that I don't know who made it. I need to find out who made it because they need to be congratulated. Because it's a it's a it's a very unique thing. So this um, chain explosion thing. I said it several times now, but maybe you can hear because the game is too loud. It's a bit like every extended extra, um, which is a really weird. A uh, game which requires you to blow yourself up, but only after creating a chain event by doing so. It's a very strange little game. Uh, I might play it one day on this very channel, but not today. I am playing a 36-year-old video game that I'm still finding entertaining. I mean, a way to get the lion's share of points is to blow up the, the um, either create chain events, like I'm trying to do here, or just work into a point. Or uh, kill the spaceships, which work to a point. I love doing that. So what happens is when a little spaceship shoots you, you your shields explode, and then they actually reverse, reverse, you know, fires back at them. Which is fun. So look, casually reaching a hundred again. Um, another reason why I do this this streaming of these old video games because I generally get better at them. It's quite incredible. Well, that's not incredible. It makes perfect sense. <gasps> See that chain? Lovely. Miserable! I was surrounded by men. I was surrounded by rocks. Costado tells me he can he can find out. Okay, Costado, tell me who made this game. Because I looked on the internet and I could not find out. So did you can tell me? You, I'll, I'll give you a credit or something. Almost got him. Almost got him. We have a name. That called Ed Averett. And he, he programmed all of these games? On, on, on all, Wow, one man made all of the games. I, I find it very hard to believe, Sado. <laughs> very, very hard to believe that is, that is the truth. Calm. These required design. There was design aspects to these games. Oh, oh, I can't believe that one man did all of them. It's absurd. He must have had some help from somewhere else. He's a genius! This is one of the earliest ones, though, isn't it? Well, assuming Mr. Castado is right, I doff my cap to you, Mr. Everett. Is it still alive, Castado? Is 
He deserves, he deserves my thanks because even 36 years after I first played this game, I'm still entertained by it. Um, so. I'm not shooting very much because I don't rely on the direction of fire. You leave yourself very vulnerable when you shoot because your the shields go down. Uh, I am I am so happy that this game is still held, still holds up after all this time. But it really would work well as an updated version of it. I'm sure. Would really be very impressed because it, it's got nuance to it. There is depth. I love doing that. It's just so passive. But okay, go go for it. Just shoot me. Let's see what happens. See how that, see how that ends. How it works out for you. That worked out well for him that time. Bring back some, some really nice memories of playing this. I don't remember being, ever, ever getting this good at it though. Um, such a long time ago though. Such a long time ago. I do have many other games on this system. Um, Space Conflict was one I had. That was weird. Um, Uh, there was a Pac-Man clone, which was a bit, not bad, but honestly the best game I've played on here, and the most smooth and most intoxicating to play, was a, 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 a version of Defender. It's really very, I, I do have it, I do have it, um, and I will probably be playing it at some point uh, later on year on the system but um so i kind of exposed myself a bit there when i did that but i had to shoot him somehow um I have reached a hundred again. I am just knocking out the park. See if I can get to two hundred for the end of this session. We've got ten minutes left. We can do this. Maybe not. Maybe I can't do this. Uh, yeah. Okay. I don't have a glove of water. Look. I should have done. It's a bit, um, doesn't really allow for pausing, really. I don't think you can pause again. I might be able to. Let me try. No. <laughs> all it does is, uh, if I press the keyboard, all it did is it got me the question mark, which is probably a good thing.
love playing these chain effects. The best I've done is take five in a row. But again, something I didn't really appreciate as a kid. Maybe. I don't know. I can't remember. I can't honestly remember if I ever appreciate the idea of linking chains together. Just firing it off just at the right moment. I knew it was going to get me. So I said earlier about how I do this. So it's on a original console. It's not on an emulation of any kind. Uh, and where where I do it is I I feed the RF signal into the video recorder, and then the video recorder I have a composite signal. And then um, sorry, I had to stop talking there. Focus. Uh, <laughs> and then from the composite signal goes into an upscaler. Uh, HDMI upscaler, and the HDMI upscaler goes into the capture device, which you're seeing this through now. That's basically it. So, if you want to do it yourself, the key, key to it all is getting an old video recorder. Because once you get an old video recorder, they can pick up these really weak signals that these old video console, video game consoles, um, beam out, beam out, send. Oh, word. One thing I would like to do is um, put an AV mod on all my old consoles. I'm in the process of doing that at the moment. Uh, had a bit of a problem with my television. In fact, so so a problem I've actually got some old um, some old televisions lying around. Three of the bloody things now. So I'm going to just swap out various chips and stuff, try to get them to work properly. I do get video signal out, but it's poor, poor. So there's one of the components not quite right, so I'm going to have to swap the components around, swap them between the television until I get the best, the best signal. Uh, and then once I've done that, I have to find myself having to do it. But, you know, like the other week I played on CBS ColecoVision, so, you know, these are all old, old consoles, which are fine. They're fine for now, I guess. But you know, we should get back into the more modern stuff. So he says playing the PlayStation 1 game <laughs> next week, next time. Uh, so next time will be the 19th of uh, March, 19th of March. Fifty-nine points. I do. I'm getting average now. I'm getting average of a uh, high point ratio. But we've got five minutes left. I don't think I'm going to manage to get 200. But still, we can try. I just want to demonstrate how difficult it is to aim with the gun, so I'm not shooting that much. But it is advantageous to be out of the action when they do blow up. I also noticed, I think, So, I think when the missiles or these asteroids collide into each other, they they suddenly, there you go, look, as soon as that happens, they go turn into a homing uh, asteroid. Which is interesting. Just these little details. Just these little things. I mean, what? How did they think this up back then? You know, they had very little. By the way, you can still move after you're dead. Until you do something. Um, no, Costado, we have not recorded that episode yet because of uh, a diary conflict. So we're still waiting on a few people, but we will be recording it very, very soon. So yes, the Retro Asylum 8 Bit Wars Part 3 um, will be of oh, Job War 3. Up. 
I think his joystick's a bit ropey. Doesn't like going. Doesn't go going left. I'm not sure. It might. It might be dying on me. I hope not. I barely used the blast, did he? Not fair. That's right. 71 points. I'm casually doing hundreds. Like, oh yeah, oh, yeah I'll do 100 points. What's the big deal? I could barely get above three or four points when I first started playing this game. Shall we call it there? Should we call it there? I think we should call it there. Thank you very, very much for joining me. Um, it's uh, yeah, less less not working very well. Very strange, a bit worrying. Might have to, I have to open this up and see what's going on. Look, I'm hitting left, and it's not going anywhere. Oh well. Um, but yeah, thanks very much for joining me. I'll just Melek James. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you very much for joining me. This has been great. 